Underground we're here with Cage. What's up? What you been up to, man? We haven't heard from you in a little bit. I've been on this uh, this tour for the past month, uh, writing, recording, getting ready for a new record on Jux. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about that new album? The new record is called Depart From Me. Uh, I'm finishing it up now. It should be coming out fourth quarter, uh, 2007. And uh, it's really neat. Can you uh, give us the basics? Like, uh, well, why is it neat? And uh, who's featured on it? Who's doing the production? I'm not really going for features this time. I kind of think that I don't think that I have to. I think that um, I think that where I'm at now, I'm, I'm just trying to make uh, just music that makes sense to me. And, and uh, I've kind of I've kind of gotten gotten over the. Uh, I just kind of feel like working with other artists, uh, it, it tends to look like a, a cheap ploy after a while, and I don't want my record to look like I'm trying to get by in guest appearances or trying to pull in different audiences based on guest appearances, etc. So, uh, kind of keeping it just like within the crew and, and um, you know, personal relationships and not reaching out to people I don't know to uh, work with. Okay, and how about on the uh, production tip? Production tip is uh, I have uh, some stuff from XL Skeletons, LP, Blockhead, uh, Kamuteo, of course. Um, uh, that's pretty much about it. Daryl Palumbo is producing some stuff on the record. Um, definitely not going the usual route and uh, asking hip hop producers to make my music because I just, for the most part, I just feel like uh, production and rap music is really stagnant. And it's just kind of the same thing. I'm not into loops anymore. It's just I just feel like so much shit just sounds dated, like the '90s. And I think when you start dealing with like sample crazy stuff, a you know, as as uh, as I've seen as well as I'm sure a lot of people have seen, people like RJ, you know, just getting sued, you know, four or five times based on just you know loops or not clearing samples and what have you. And it's to me, it ends up being uh, the music sounds better just getting like live instrumentation rather than dealing with just jacking people's music and and uh, putting it out as your own and it, it's just kind of if we're not in this to be progressive then what are we even doing you know yeah and you eventually gotta like progress so what are you listening to I know a lot of people just kind of their their sounds mature and, and change and I'm sure it's probably different than it was 10 years ago I don't listen to any modern rap and I don't listen to any modern rock um, I listen to old stuff I listen to old rap um, nothing new. Not really into much new stuff. UNLP definitely went on a crazy appearance change. Like, I mean, when we at UGG and other people online saw the pictures of UNLP, I, I think it was Elemental. It was one of the first places I saw um, kind of the more trendy, I guess you'd say, look. I don't, I mean, I don't think it looks much different. I mean, go to his MySpace. He really, uh. He, he cut his hair and he's, his clothes, I, I personally, it just looked like a mature a maturity statement. My question is though, um, was well, why... I know that most of the records that I'm selling to now are not kids that come to undergroundhiphop.com and I understand that. And I know that most of them don't go to underground websites and they don't... These are, I'm getting, I'm selling a lot of music to hardcore kids, to metal kids, to kids that don't know shit about underground rap. And um, you know you can go inside and you can you can see a, a lot of a lot of hardcore kids that don't know anything and they can't. If you were to ask them to name five underground rappers, they'd probably name Jux artists, or they'd name me and Ace or whoever else based on Cardboard City, you know, associating like you know like association. You know, I mean Daryl Palumbo put thousands of kids onto me. You know, I, I see kids coming and showing up at shows with glass truck glass jaw jackets and you know thursday sweatshirts and and uh you know and and, and in all honesty I, you know before hell's winter i hadn't i i got so sick of like perpetuating black stereotypes that i was just like dude i'm not this fucking 
conf- you know, confused teen anymore, you know, it's like, you stop doing drugs, and then you just, you know, you're just like, you know what, fuck these people, I can just be myself, you know, I don't have to, I don't have to put on a fucking show for anybody, you know, and, uh, I just got tired of going and getting fucking edge ups like I was a black man or something, you know? It just didn't make sense to me. I felt like I was just perpetuating black stereotypes. And being a white man and doing a black art form, that shit's not cool, you know? And all my black friends were backed it. All my black friends were like, fuck that, say it. Speak your mind, you know? It's like somebody's gotta say it. And it's like, and, and who says it? Black people say it, black people complain about it. You know, it's like it's more than just dropping an end bomb here and there and not dropping an end bomb. When you're walking around, it's like I had this whole thing when I, you know, I talked to Pitchfork about, you know, like the subtle blackface. It's like you're walking around like just perpetuating like this is what black people are. This is what black people look like. So I was just, you know, I'm white. Why can't I be white? You know, it's like the only people that have problems with it are kids that are, are uh, perpetuating these stereotypes. And I'm not, I don't, if I don't sell records then that's fine. It's grown men, like, with a problem with my hair. Like, you wanna fuck me? Like, <laughs> the girls don't have a problem with my hair. You know, the girls don't have a problem with my clothes. The girls don't have a problem with, the fuck am I? I'm not a homosexual. I don't care what, what men think of me. I don't, you buy my music, you buy my music. You wanna shake my hand after a show, that's cool. As far as, like, you leave a comment on my MySpace or whatever, it's like, shit, that's meaningless.